What's up guys, Shiny Inter Zach here back with a game I played on the Pokemon trading card game online. I am playing the standard Team Plasma deck with Thunder CX, Deoxys CX, and Kyurem from Plasma Freeze, as well as one or two other Pokemon teched in like Lugia EX. So my opponent is Sophies, and they are playing, I believe, some kind of anti-metagame deck. They're starting off with a Landorus EX in the active, and a Keldeo EX on the bench. My first move here, as I go first, is going to be to Team Plasma Ball for a Thunderous. I want to get as many cards out of my hand as possible so I can Bianca for more. I decide to Chorus Machine for, of course, a Plasma Energy, and I figure Deoxys can best use it, so I attach it to my Deoxys. And then I believe I make a bit of a misplay here and decide to switch into my Thunderous. Maybe the fact that Landorus was out there and that Thunderous is weak to fighting didn't even register with me, but I Bianca for three, get a laser and the Verbank City Gym, and I also get the sleep on the uh, flip there, and I'm just going to have to end my turn because I do not have an energy to put on the Thunderous. He gets his own laser and can benefit off of my Verbank. Unfortunately, he has the tricky Keldeo Floatstone combination where he can just rush in with Keldeo and have free retreat with Floatstone, so he will be back out in a Landorus soon. He Junipers, gets a fighting energy off of that and then is able to hit me for 60 and also hit my Deoxys for 30 and with the poison damage that is going to be half of my Thunderous's health already. So I'm wondering what I want to use here before I play my Professor Juniper. I decide to just uh, scramble switch because it's going in the discard pile anyway, get my Thunderous out of the active, put the Prism onto it so that it can start attacking and then Juniper. I do get a Kyurem so that will help against that Landorus, and I also get a Colrus Machine, so I can put a Plasma Energy onto it, and I decide to go ahead and use my two Team Plasma Balls to get a couple more Deoxys out, I believe, so that Pokemon like Kyurem can start benefiting from its ability. So I have one Full Heart Deoxys, I decide to get that one out, and then all I can do now, because the rest of my uh, cards are supporters, is attack 460 and turn it over to my opponent. They are going to attach, I believe, a Metal Energy to that Keldeo. Catcher out my Thunderous, and uh-oh, there's a Hypnotoxic Laser. They also get the Sleep Flip, not that it matters, because my Thunderous is going down this turn. He ends me to a fresh hand of 6. I get some pretty good cards, actually. A couple of Lasers, an Energy, a Switch, a Bianca, and another Thunderous. He is going to Computer Search now, and play down a Cobalion EX. That is going to be trouble for my Kyurem. Definitely an anti-Team Plasma deck if I've ever seen one. I go ahead and promote the Kyurem just so that I can start attacking with super effective damage and maybe even get a knockout here. I do have the energy to start using Kyurem's first attack, Frost Spear, and along with the Hypnotoxic Laser, that will be taking out this Landorus EX, and I will be getting two prizes. I set down another Thunderous just in case... That could come in handy as far as putting energy back into play, and that will do more than enough to take out this uh, Landorus. I actually didn't even need to play the laser there, but oh well. Hindsight is, of course, always 2020. so I will get my first two prizes there, a Plasma Energy and an N. I have a very respectable hand size right now. He is going to play down a card onto his Cobalion EX before using his own Hypnotoxic Laser. We are just going back and forth on the lasers. He does end me, unfortunately. I do get a decent hand, including a Colrus and another energy, as well as a Hypnotoxic Laser. He's going to set down an Absol, which I'm not too worried about. Nothing on my team is weak to dark, and it doesn't have any energy on it yet, and I'm doubting that he plays things like Dark Claw. So, unfortunately, he gets the Sleep Flip twice, so my Kyurem stays asleep, and I may have to play that Switch that is in my hand and go out into something like Thunderous or that setup Deoxys. So I decide to do that, get my Kyurem out of there so the poison damage doesn't keep racking up. I decide to go into my Deoxys. Uh, unfortunately, Cobalion does have resistance to Psychic, which is a bit annoying, but I decide to do that anyway. Could have done the Thunderous. The Thunderous might have been a better play there. I do have another laser that I can use on the Cobalion, and then I will Colrus. I want to save that Juniper and get a new hand of six. I have another Kyurem, that could come in handy if my first one gets knocked out, and I can 
Colrus Machine for a Plasma Energy and put that onto the Fresh Kirim. He unfortunately gets the Sleep Flip to wake up again, and that Cobalion now has more than half of its HP taken away at 100 damage to it. It's going to go into Keldeo now, which now has two energy on it, a Metal and a Fighting. So a pretty interesting deck here. He is going to kick out my Verbank for a Sky Arrow, and he is going to attack me there with its first attack. Righteous Edge for the knockout on my Kiram to take his third prize. So he is in the lead right now. A bit unfortunate for me. I do get an energy, a blend energy that I can attach to my Kiram. And then the rest of my hand is just supporters. So I believe I'm going to Colrus again, wanting to save those supporters, but also get the maximum amount of cards I can. I do get another Verbank so I can kick out his Sky Arrow. But if he has another one, then he will win the so-called Stadium War. I can uh, raid a Knuckle there and get that third energy onto the Kirim, which will allow it to use Blizzard Burn if I need it to. And he is going to Bianca for four cards, use his supporter for the turn. My hand, once again, is pretty full of supporters. Uh, some games you can't get any supporters, and some games you just get all of them at once. I have two Skylas and a Juniper in my hand, as well as a Switch and a Catcher. He's looking pretty good with six cards in his hand and an almost set up Keldeo, as well as a Cobalion that could do some serious damage to my Kirim, which thankfully does not have any damage on it at this moment in time. So he is thinking about what to do next. He's going to Ultra Ball now, discarding an Escape Rope and a Fighting Energy, and he is going to get out a Pokemon that I truly did not expect to see here, and that is going to be a Pokemon that... Saw play in a rogue deck at some of the Battle Roads when it was first released in Dragon's Exalted, Ho-Oh EX. And he is going to Ultra Ball away two ho -Ohs. He had two of them in his hand, one and then the other one with the Ultra Ball. And he now is going to Ultra Ball for a shiny Terrakion. Not sure what his thought process is there. Maybe he just wants something that would be super effective against my Thunder CX. And unfortunately, with Cobalion's first attack, he does get to discard my Blend Energy off of my Thunderous. So I can just switch, though, into my Kyurem, even without the energy with that switch card. And I think I will decide to switch into my Deoxys instead. The Kyurem might have been a better play, but I think I was worried about it taking damage from one of his other Pokemon. I Bianca for a couple cards there. And then decide to just attack for the knockout with my Deoxys. I think I was fearing some kind of retaliation knockout. And Kiram is going to be helpful in taking out whatever Pokemon I deem. I believe that's going to be the Keldeo. I do have a Hypnotoxic Laser in my hand. And three Deoxys in, on the bench. So by my calculations, the Hypnotoxic with Verbank City Gym. Three Deoxys and a Blizzard Burn from Kiram. If all of that goes off, that will be 180 damage, which is plenty enough to take out this Keldeo and win me the game. He's going to get his third energy onto the Keldeo and will be able to hit me for, I believe, 70, since that last energy is a blend. He is going to uh, Ultra Ball and then not find anything, I suppose, but that is going to be the game for me. I will switch out into my Kirim use the laser, and then thanks to Deoxys, I'll be able to Blizzard Burn for the knockout and win the game. So good game, Sophies. That was a pretty interesting match and a good game with Kirim, and that is going to do it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like and favorite the video and leave a comment below. And until next time, I will see you guys later.